on Monday, July 3rd, it's 7.30, and 63 degrees. Pump on, let's go. <clears throat> it was raining. It's stopped for right now. I guess this is what it feels like to live in Seattle, Washington. <clears throat> Although I think they have rain 200 days a year. I don't know. I don't know what that. I guess it was my watch. I must have got a message. <sighs> yeah, Flynn woke me up around 6 o'clock. But uh, it was raining pretty good, so we're going to go out. Flynn, come on. Flynn? What are you crunching on? Uh, <clears throat> I think we had a deer on the uh, northwest camera overnight. Nothing on the other two. Flynn, come on. Stop eating the grass. <laughs> come on. Let's go. Went to dinner yesterday at Forrester's. Flint, come on. Had a nice time with uh, Christina, Tom, and my wife, Rita. <clears throat> Anyway, 3rd of July. <clears throat> Tomorrow's the 4th. I have a couple of fireworks still on the barn. Flynn doesn't like fireworks. Last time I set the fireworks off was when uh, Danielle and Dave were up. Oh, well, that's three or four years ago. Still no response from uh, Stealth Command, my cellular camera support people. I sent them a few emails about updating my credit card. And apparently, even though we got a new CCV or CVV, whatever the hell the code is, they're still able to charge using the old one. So I guess it's not an issue. Fine. Uh, mosquitoes are out. <clears throat> Uh, we were going to dinner last night, last evening. 
pulled up here and a turkey ran across the driveway. <clears throat> we had the same one down at the Lindsay place. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's made its way up this way. <clears throat> Let's go to the grass. <clears throat> grass is getting deep. The brother Tom is uh, heading back to Jersey this morning. He's got to go to Old Town first and drop off the uh, U Haul trailer. What are you pulling for? Come here. Come here. Okay. <clears throat> Trying to keep him out of the uh, mud. Getting bad. Please. There's nothing up there. Come on. Lynn. Steak and uh, put home some scraps for Flynn. So he had uh, a sweetened dinner, dog food with uh, ribeye scraps. Wow. You can hear the water. <coughs> <clears throat> right in the middle of the field, huh? Well, I guess he had a big dinner and he's got to go. <clears throat> Night, bud. In the house. Good boy. Still recording. <clears throat> that would be a short video this morning. <clears throat> when we got to uh, Forrester's, had a reservation and uh, sat down and saw uh, a friend. And Charlie sits at the bar, give him a wave, 
I thought I was going to come over and say hello, but I turned around, he was gone. Uh, he had uh, seen Brother Tom and his wife come in, and he didn't want to disturb us. Uh, it turns out uh, the hostess that sat us down at the table, her name is Rowan something or other, and uh, she's the granddaughter of Tom and Karen Lescott. So that's pretty ironic. I'm sure ironic is the right term. <clears throat> Fun. Easy. Fun. Small world, huh? Although, this section of Maine is a very small world. <clears throat> everybody knows everybody. So you keep a civil tongue about yourself. You don't want to talk about Anybody, because <clears throat> we're going to get back to them and we'll alienate people. <clears throat> I don't want to walk across to see how full the tire tracks are. Oh, but in the house, let's go. Glenn, there's nothing there. Come on. Oh. It's been so damp that uh, the sugar in the shaker jar dispensing jar, whatever the hell it's called. Walk him out. Shake the uh, thing up. Tip it over, it's just clumps. So I've gotten to the point where I have to spoon it out. <clears throat> I guess if we pulled up the air conditioning out of the basement and kept them running, keep the humidity out of the house, it'd be okay, but I don't want to run the air conditioner just to take the humidity out of the house. I mean, it's 60, what, 62, I said? It's cool enough, but you, I mean, the moisture is just, just coming through the shirt. Seen any here this morning? Not one. Hmm. Well, short and sweet. Tom's heading out. As soon as the post office opens, he has to stop in there and inquire what paperwork he needs to get his mail delivered here. And then he's got the uh, hour ride down to Old Town with the trailer. Probably a half hour to turn that in. And then nine hours. Hopefully there's no traffic. No, no, we're getting back to Jersey. So that's it. Thanks for watching.